Hello, I'm Michael Scharf, director of the Frederick K. Cox International Law Center at Case Western Reserve University School of Law. In the next few minutes, you'll get to hear from some of our faculty and students who will tell you about the exceptional international law program at Case Western Reserve. This year, a national survey of law professors ranked Case Western's international law program as one of the top in the country. Our program attracts students from around the world to study here, and they graduate with international law jobs across the globe. Hello, I'm Margot Day and I'm from Michigan. I chose to study law at Case Western Reserve School of Law because of its stellar international law program. My name is Nikki Desarathi, and I'm originally from New Jersey. I selected Case Western Reserve School of Law because I heard if you want to work abroad, Case can make that happen. Hi, I'm Michael Pearson, and I came to Case Western Reserve University School of Law because I was excited about the National Security Law Program here. Case's International Law Program has a $4 million endowment, one of the largest in the nation. With this money, we provide students summer, semester-long, and post-grad internship grants to help them break into a job in international law. I'm a second-year law student from New York and also president of the International Law Society. This past summer, I worked at the International Bar Association in London. I'm a third-year law student at Case, and I did my undergrad at the University of Notre Dame. After my first year at Case, I interned for a law firm in Shanghai, China, and after my second year, I interned for the president of the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. After my first year, I was an intern at the International Trade Center in Geneva, Switzerland. Our international law program includes the Cox Center, the Institute for Global Security Law and Policy, the War Crimes Research Office, the Canada-US Law Institute. They bring over 100 distinguished speakers to the school throughout the year. The Case Western Reserve Journal of International Law just celebrated its 45th anniversary this year, making it one of the oldest and most prestigious international law journals in the world. Case Western's Journal of International Law publishes articles by leading experts from around the world who come to speak at the law school. As an editor on the journal, I honed my writing skills editing articles that help shape the direction of international law. Our Jessup Moot Court team was the last American team to win the world championship of the prestigious international competition. Rotania cannot hide behind the principle of malacaptus benedictentis in order to justify an unfair trial. One of the most amazing moments of my life was winning the world championship round of the Jessup Moot Court competition and the award for best final round speaker. Margot Day. It was a chance to meet international law students from around the world that share a passion for international law. Our international law curriculum is one of the most extensive of any law school. We offer international law as a first year elective. We have 45 upper level international and comparative courses, including several hands-on labs, practicums, and clinics. Our students can choose to graduate with an international law or national security law concentration. We also offer an exchange program with six leading Chinese law schools and our unique Case Abroad at Home program taught by visiting foreign professors. I'm Avi Don Cover, director of the Law School's Institute for Global Security Law and Policy. In an age of terrorism and global instability, law and national security are more important than ever. My name is Richard Gordon. I came to Case after working for the International Monetary Fund as senior counsel for about 11 years. At Case, I teach a course on financial sector integrity, where we do projects assigned to us by the IMF. Hi, I'm Giuselino Colares, professor of law at Case Western. I teach international trade and other courses in international business and regulatory matters. I was born in Brazil, but I've studied and practiced law in Brazil, France, and the United States, and am living proof that a career in international law can be both professionally gainful and academically exciting. I'm Cassandra Robertson, and I teach and write about international law in U.S. courts. Case Western is on the cutting edge of this very fast-growing area of practice. I'm Charles Corsmo, National Director of the Canada-U.S. Law Institute. For 35 years, the Institute's been at the cutting edge of legal relations involving the United States and its largest trading partner. Hi, I'm Tim Webster. I'm an expert in Chinese law. With exchange programs at six of the most prominent Chinese law schools, Case Western is a leader in preparing students to do legal work in this fast-growing area of international law. In the War Crimes Research Lab, we work on issues assigned to us by five different international war crimes tribunals. In 2005, the Special Court for Sierra Leone nominated our program for the Nobel Peace Prize. Case Western does a remarkable job at placing its students in internships at international tribunals. 
and I'm one of six graduates that now work as prosecutor, defense counsel, and legal advisor to the judges of the International Tribunal. One of the best experiences I had at CASE was my semester-long externship at the United Nations Cambodia Genocide Tribunal in Phnom Penh. In the National Security Lab, we worked on real legal issues for the Department of Defense. Thanks to our endowment, we have built up one of the most exciting international law programs in the country. Nearly half of our faculty teach international law courses, and nearly half of our students pick CASE because of their interest in international law. Over 500 of our alumni practice in the field of international law, from major law firms to human rights organizations, from government agencies to international tribunals. My education at CASE earned me a position as a military lawyer in the United States Air Force JAG Corps. After graduating from CASE, I got a job at the American Bar Association Rule of Law Initiative, where I work on human rights, legal reform, and rule of law matters around the world. After graduating from CASE, I had a two-year federal judicial clerkship. Now I'm an attorney at Jones Day, one of the largest law firms in the world, where I've recently been working on matters involving Somali pirates, and I will soon be traveling for work to Southeast Asia. We hope you will come to CASE so we can help you launch your career in international law.